I'd like to call the meeting to order at 6.30. Uh, good evening, all. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, the Select Board has chosen to conduct this uh, Select Board meeting uh, remotely, and I'm going to say what the remote call link is. It is as follows, https colon forward slash forward slash meet dot google dot com forward slash k u y dash f as in frank j m as in mercy c dash c s as in stephen h or you can call to access the meeting and i'll give you the number 617-675-4444 and punch in the pin 486 744 377 944 7 pound. I've the meeting is called to order. I'd like to recognize the public. I see Steve. Good evening, Steve. Hello. And the rules of procedure. Uh, rules of procedure are the rules that govern the communication between the public and the select board. Those rules of procedure are on uh, Peter Rood's desk in case we need them, but the basic premise is uh, to speak uh, civilly to one another and to raise your hand when you would like to be called upon. Are there any additions to the agenda? Uh, yes, I have one um, that to discuss the reopening of the town office and it somewhat coincides with the COVID updates. I would suggest just combining them as, as one item at the end of new business. Okay, excellent. We, we will do that. Are there any changes to the agenda order? I do not I have, have any change. of those. I have a change. I'd like to put the letter, uh, the, the select board's response to the letter. I'd like to put that in communications where it belongs. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Uh, the minutes. I'm sure you all read the minutes, and I would look for a motion to accept them. Miranda, uh, motions to accept the minutes. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Michael. Is there any discussion? All right, I'll take the roll. Veranda? Aye. Michael? Aye. Zahn? Rusty? Aye. Richard, aye. That motion carries. Thank you very much. On to the highway update. Is uh, Dan with us? Um, no. Uh, uh, well, today was his first day back from vacation, um, and he had a personal matter he had that came up uh, this afternoon that he needed to attend to. Okay. Can but you give I, us I did the highway update? I will. I spoke with Dan uh, earlier today, uh, and currently, the while he was on vacation, the road crews been spending a bit of time repairing equipment. They've also been setting a few new culverts and cleaning out ditches and blocked culverts. Uh, Dan also told me that um, he hopes they'll begin more extensive roadside mowing in the next week or so, uh, as well as uh, beginning work on some of the new stone line ditching uh, towards the latter part of this month. Uh, he also said that he hopes to start some uh, begin grading some of the roads that weren't done prior to the last rainstorm. And that was all. Great. Any questions or comments about that report? Then we shall move on. Uh, on to new business, the Guilford Free Library Architect. Peter, would you like to um, just quickly tell us about that? Sure. Uh, so as the select board is aware, uh, there, has, there was a committee that was put together to review the RFP for the architect, uh, architectural proposals for the uh, library that was uh, two members from the Board of Trustees from the library, as well as our librarian. And then there were uh, two select board members, as, as Richard was also uh, doing a dual role as a member of the trustees. Uh, and there was Isaac Wagner, our consultant, and myself. And uh, we narrowed that the, the uh, proposals down to three, and we held interviews last week. And uh, from the interviews, then we all, uh, I think, had a, a productive discussion afterwards and uh, selected uh, a candidate that we would like to uh, recommend to the select board. And that was uh, Goldstone Architects based out of Bennington. Um, I, I think overall, and, and Michael and Richard can also speak to this, but I think overall the, the enthusiasm for their uh, 
Um, the conversation we had with them and, and the work that they will do for us, I think, was was very high. And um, so that's where we are at now. And so it, if they don't have anything, then we just need a, a, a motion from the select board to uh, hopefully select uh, Goldstone as, as the architect for the project. I motion, uh, I make the motion that we select Goldstone Architects for the project. Veranda seconds. Thank you, Veranda. Is there any discussion? I would say that um, that the feeling in the room was unanimous about Goldstone Architects. They just seem to have um, um, a, a good understanding of, of building for a community, um, a good, a very good sense of design, a good sense of of um, the interpretation of the design that we, the initial design we had and what changes it would need to go through to make this addition really, the small addition to the library, a great success. So that's what I would say. Is anybody, Michael, do you have anything to add? Um, I, I was just impressed by their communication skills. So do I, do we, ha uh, do we have a second? Uh, yes, yes Veranda seconded. seconded. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so now I will take, uh, if there's no further discussion, take the roll, Veranda. Aye. Michael? Aye. Zahn? And Rusty? Aye. Richard? Aye. That motion carries. Uh, so we will, uh, we will let the Goldstone Architects know of our decision. Thank you very much. Uh, again, Peter, in your court, the sign vandalism at Playscape, you've uh, been You've yeah, heard. so this the, the select board doesn't really have any action to take here. However, uh, Wendy Stone, the chair of our recreation commission, asked me to communicate to all of you. So after the, they completed the the landscaping project over there, and they had the parking area created in order to maximize parking spaces as well as to control the flow of traffic. Uh, the Recreation Commission requested Danny to put it up an enter and an exit sign uh, at e each end of the parking lot so traffic would flow in one way and out the other. Uh, those signs were stolen about a month ago. Um, Dan was frankly uh, not too surprised about this. Um, he said that they have had issues in that area in the past. Uh, and the Recreation Commission wanted new signs put up so uh, Dan just went and bought those cheap plastic signs you find at the hardware store and, and nailed them uh, onto wooden posts. And uh, those signs uh, about a week and a half ago were found broken and, and thrown across the uh, playscape and one of them was in the brook. And so um, if anyone knows any information about who's doing this, uh, we would highly uh, request you to contact the Vermont State Police. Um, that would be the preferred method. You can also contact the town office uh, if you don't feel comfortable contacting the state police. Uh, but just please respect this this public property. Uh, this is a place for everyone to enjoy and to use, and and a lot of work is and money has gone into the uh, the place. Gate. So, thanks, Peter. Is there any questions or comments for Peter on that matter? Well, I just wanted to reiterate you know as a liaison to the rec commission i know that there's such a dedicated group of volunteers who have put so much into this and you know i just wonder uh why this is happening i guess dan says that it's not unusual i don't know if it's location specific but it's just a sorry commentary Thank you, Veranda. Any, uh, anyone else? Yeah, J just to respond to Veranda, uh, yes, Dan said they have had problems along the bottom section uh, of Carpenter Hill Road in the past. Mm. Interesting. Very good. Thank you, Peter. And then um, tax exemption for Green River Preservation Trust. Perhaps you would like to speak to that too, Peter. <laughs> I I'd be happy to. Yes. So uh, last week I got a phone call from uh, Lisa Berry, our assessor, and uh, Sean, uh, they, the two of them were working on uh, their their annual submission to the state um, and came across the fact, and I think that's why, why Steve is here, is that the uh, Green River Preservation Trust uh, has previously been 
uh, exempt from taxes for the properties that they own. Um, and this is generally gone as a vote before residents uh, at town meeting day. Uh, it is something that it is similar to the many other organizations in town that uh, have similar tax exemption. And so uh, on a technical level, it is the responsibility of the organization to approach the listers to request that to be added uh, as an item for town meeting day. Uh, and, uh, the downside is that this happens once every 10 years for the, the trust. And so I think that it had kind of slipped off of everyone's radar. And I, I think it was just an honest mistake. I do know that the listers try uh, to remember uh, or, or take note when they see one coming up uh, and remind the organization that they need to uh, submit uh, some form of communication requesting that to, to be on town meeting day. Uh, so, so because it was missed, uh, the action that need, that the select board needs to take, do we need to vote on uh, that? We are yeah. So I was going to just say next is is so uh, technically we need to have the select board um, vote to uh, consider giving them a temporary approval until uh, town meeting day next year when all town residents can vote on it. Okay, I so move. Miranda so, seconds. Is there any discussion? I would just like to thank the board for um, listening to us and, and uh, appealing, having our appeal. We do realize that it's our responsibility and we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Great, thank you, Steve. Um, I, I'm Michael? on the trust, so I, I'll step aside from voting, but I would appreciate your support. We do a lot of good work and I rake a lot of the there. Okay, all right, I, um, any, any further uh, comments or discussion? Very good. I'll take the roll. Veranda? Zahn? Rusty? Aye. Richard? Aye. Uh, th that passes. And thank you very much. And, and Thank you. Uh, Most appreciated. And yes, and we just know that the, the Green River Preservation Trust is doing a great job in, in, in conserving land in our town, which we need to have done. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. And, and, and thanks to the trust. We appreciate it. Uh, Peter, the grants and aid letter of intent. Yes, uh, every year for the past, I'll be real quick with this. Every year for the past five years, the state has provided grant funding to all towns to help each town meet the requirements for the Clean Water Act. Uh, the state is doing so again this year. In order to be eligible for this funding, uh, the select board needs to uh, submit a letter of intent that has had an official vote to approve this letter of intent. Um, so basically it's free money that we're guaranteed if the select board submits the letter of intent. Uh, last year, we got $30,000 for the project. Uh, every year has been a slight increase. I think this year has been increased to 32,800 is what we are supposed to be getting this year. Should we do this? So I just need a motion from someone to approve we have a motion the letter of intent. Zahn motions, do I have a second? Rusty seconds. Is there any discussion? I was just curious. I mean, what is this? Uh, I mean, I'm in, I think I'm in favor, but what is it used for? What sort of efforts? Um, it's primarily used uh, to do stone line ditching. Um, okay. So as, as part of the Clean Water Act, uh, part of the responsibility of the town is to reduce the amount of uh, sediment and other uh, byproducts that are running off into our waterways. And one way that the state has determined that uh, is productive for that is stone line ditching. Um, whether it actually works or not is a completely different discussion, but that is primarily what we are doing. And so actually just uh, the week before Dan went on vacation, uh, Jeff Nugent, from Wyndham Regional Commission uh, and his assistant came out and met with Dan and they reviewed uh, the, the three new sections of road that uh, they're going to work on for this uh, coming year. Thank you, any, any further discussion? Just curious what those three, three sections of road are. I'm sorry, I don't know them off the top of my head. Um, I can find out from Dan and I can uh, send that information to the select board. Okay, that's fine, I'll, I'll ask him next time. Okay, I'll take uh, the roll then. Veranda? Michael? Aye. Zahn? Aye. Mark Rusty? Aye. Richard? 
Aye. Okay. So we approve of the grants and aid letter of intent being uh, uh, sent. Thank you very much. Wagner Development Contract Extension. You know that Isaac uh, Wagner is the um, the the sort of project uh, supervisor for the library edition, our, our attempt to get a library edition, and he's been doing a very good job. Uh, we need to, uh, if we so desire or wish to have his contract extended, he will be working on um, on tax uh, credits, uh, gr uh, grant proposal writing. He, he knows the reason that we have Isaac doing this work is that he knows how to do it. And he does it successfully. He knows who to contact in the state, which which proposals need to be sent in, and when. And he's very good at um, working with architects, as we saw uh, at our interviews the other day. So I would I would hope that we could have a motion to extend that contract. Does someone want to make that motion? Uh, uh, just um, yeah. Um, yes, on to make it. I, I have a question. Okay. Uh, do I have a second? Oh, uh, who's, who made the motion? Zahn did, right? No, Michael made the motion. I'll oh, second. Michael. Okay, and Zahn is seconded. Thank you. Uh, and, and is there any discussion? Yes, Zahn. So uh, when you say extend, is it clear? Is there any clarity about what that means as far as time? Or is it just until the project is finished? Or um... I believe that it's, it's a date certain, isn't it, Peter? I, yeah, I, I shared the contract with you folks oh, okay. in there. I didn't, I didn't, I saw it. I didn't see that detail. I'm sorry. I can look. Don't take time now. Uh, just if you give me just a, one brief second, I was just bringing it up here. Um, so it is to, um, yes, it is date certain. It is, um, oh, it's completion of the project. Okay. All right, fine. But we, 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 we will be monitoring his work, of course, um, as, sure. as we go through. I just wonder the, the contract, the, the contract does have deliverables that are outlined as, as far as okay. um, what is expected of him at what uh, point in time. Thank you. Any further? Did, um, Rusty, no, did you want to say something, Rusty? I'm, no, okay. Peter? It actually, it, it, I, I correct myself. It is both both date certain. It's not to exceed December of 2022 or the project completion, whichever comes first. I see. Okay. That's that's good. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, any further comments? Let's take a vote. There. Well, even though I I advanced this, is it? And I apologize for not having thoroughly read it, but is it for a finite amount of money, or is it? Is he building? Not to exceed fifteen thousand. Okay, thanks. So it, it the the total cost is not to exceed fifteen thousand. It may be less if the project takes less time or, or goes more quickly. To make sure we weren't being billed hourly or something. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I want to take the roll. Veranda. Michael. Aye. Zahn. Aye. Rusty. Aye. Richard. Aye. All right. So Isaac is got a, a contract extended and I think that um, I think that well, I've been in that business for many many years during my career and I would say that I, Isaac is very good at what he does and um, and uh, we're I think we're fortunate to have him working for us right. okay so COVID update Peter yes so the next is reopening of the town office and and slash COVID update. So this will uh, could potentially have a select board action as well. Uh, in brief, uh, all COVID restrictions were dropped uh, today by the governor um, at his press conference last Friday. Um, Dr. Levine, the, our director of um, the Department of Health announced that Vermont has now exceeded 80% vaccination rate. Uh, which is higher than they wanted to be at this point in time, which is why the governor has now removed all restrictions. Uh, that includes social distancing um, and uh, businesses and other things like that. And so the only uh, requirement that the state now has is if a person is not vaccinated, uh, you are still uh, required to wear a mask. 
Um, that's that's the only exception to the rule. Other than that, all other restrictions have been dropped. And so with that, the select board, uh, it's now within your jurisdiction and decision making whether or not to reopen uh, the town office and whether or not to have the employees who are working remotely begin working at the office again, uh, as well as having in-person meetings. Um, I know our, our four uh, commissioner uh, commissions in town will be very happy to have in-person meetings again. Um, but there's no reason that we cannot do, as discussed previously, there's no reason we cannot do a hybrid meeting, which means having some people meeting in person and some remotely. Um, as was so, several select board members had noted, um, better suits their personal situation. So Right, so in this I'll motion, I, I think that I would like to have a motion to reopen the town office and have employees return uh, to the office to work un uh, unless they uh, would like to to work remotely at some times, which I which it seems to me would be all right with me. I don't know if we need to talk about whether the select board meetings should be remote or in person. Now that seems to me that we could do that. Uh, we don't need to have that in a motion. Nope, I would that's perfectly fine. Yeah. And also, I think that I would like to, I, I don't think that this should be in the motion, but I would, I'm going to request that there be a memo sent to town employees uh, uh, about this and that uh, that we request the town employees who are not vaccinated, uh, not request, but require town employees who are not vaccinated to wear a mask, since that is what the governor's order is. Is that correct? Right. So, um, should, how should we do this? Um, a motion to reopen the town office and have employees return to work in their offices unless uh, unless a, a, another um, alternative is approved. How does that sound? Sure. So you're going to make the motion, Richard? Yes. Um, yes, Don. I'd like to amend that motion. Okay. Uh, if you're, or I'd like to suggest an amendment, which would be to just subtract the part after uh, opening the offices. You just want the offices to be open, and not and and not say. That I don't know that that's the governor's statement. I'm not sure that we need. Do we need to get engaged in? figuring out whether or not a single or a particular employee works in the office or not? Is that I our... Think, I, I, think I mean, that's right. really, think technically need... that's a personnel matter and that should actually be discussed uh, yeah. really in executive I, session. I, I agree with you, Zon. So let's make the motion that the, uh, the that we, uh, we motion, we, we um, motion to have the... Uh, the Move to reopen the we, full to stop. To reopen, yeah. And do okay. I have a second for that? <laughs> okay. I think Rusty, uh, Rusty yeah. had his hand up for it. Is there any further discussion? You're on mute, Miranda. Um, I'm confused about what we have authority over and what we don't. You know, we can't require employees to be vaccinated. I mean, we no, don't. No, you that, cannot. We took that. That's not in the motion. The, the motion is. A oh, I understand. Motion. Yeah, reopening the. Uh, that's the motion that's on the floor to reopen okay. the office. And it's and been so we don't want. I'm sorry. I still need more clarification. So it's up to the employees whether they want to make a special conditions where they could work remotely some of the time and in the office some of the time. That's right, that would be, uh, right. Okay. And that's that a would, private discussion that, with the that select be, board. That, okay. That's a personnel discussion and it would okay, be, fine. and it only replies to Peter and uh, Lisa in as far as our, oh, okay. okay and, and, and the highway department too, but they don't work in the office. So right. are, are you- So as, it, as it stands right now, as it stands right now, Richard moved to re reopen the town office and Rusty seconded. Yes. And is there any further discussion? So Richard, this is Steve. I'm still on the line, but speaking as a resident, 
Uh, did you say that you want you want to follow the governor's mandate and say anybody who's not vaccinated must wear a mask? Yes, but that's going to be a memo. To, okay. We're just going to remind the, the employees of the town in a memo that that is what the governor's that, that is what the governor's order is. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can I? Are we ready to vote, Veranda? Aye. Uh, Michael. Aye. Zahn. Aye. Rusty. Aye. Richard. Aye. Okay. So the office is reopened. Yippee doodle. Okay, now in regard to that uh, memorandum, um, that's not on the agenda. I will work with you, Richard, to, to send that to employees. Okay, and that's merely just um, repeating the governor's order. So, but we want to make yep. sure that our the employees of the town know that that is what the governor's order is. Very good. Uh, and now what we've all been waiting for, the DVCUD update. <laughs> All right. Well, I can be very brief. Uh, there's a meeting tomorrow night of the uh, of the of the DV Fiber Governing Board, which the DV Fiber now uh, DV CUD now includes 24 towns, I think. So uh, it's really getting impressive. Um, we we will be voting tomorrow night on the selection of a partner or a partner to work with DV Fiber in order to begin the process of rolling out fiber to all the towns in the district. Um, and it's um, it's a long haul, but here we are. And uh, tomorrow night we will have a, we'll have a, a decision, I hope, I, I think it's slated that we'll have a decision made tomorrow night that we'll be able to announce. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Zon. Any comments or questions? All right, moving right along then, uh, on to the warrants. Okay, <clears throat> I move that we pay the following warrants. Payroll week five, 3021, $6,000.86. Payroll week six, six, 21, for the sum of $6,100. $13.79 payroll week 61321 for the sum of $7,355.85 expense warrant number 22022 for the sum of $72,668.85 for a total of $92,138.89. Do I have a second? Zon seconds. Is there any discussion? I just like just to know, Rusty? I would just like to know why the third week went up over $1,000 for the payroll. Uh, overtime from the highway crew. Was that and let's see, major expenses were um, a communication system for the highway department uh, and some uh, insurance. And those were the major things. Yeah. So there's our, our quarterly insurance payments um, were almost $13,000. Uh, there's the uh, radios for the highway crew that the select board previously approved. And there was the work that was completed on the Green River Covered Bridge to repair the damages, of which a majority of that was covered by our insurance policy. And what about the overtime? Where does that come from? Uh, that was due to the last rainstorm that we had. Uh, there were uh, several trees that came down in a couple of parts of town, and Dan had to call the road crew out to clean them up. One of them uh, fell across uh, Carpenter Hill Road and was blocking the road in between the two new culverts and the other tree that came down was blocking the road um, up on a uh, sweet pond road about half a mile up the road from where it meets stage road so and they were dense they were very large trees and upwards of three feet in diameter mm. wow that's over time uh okay any further yeah. discussion all right I'll take the roll veranda Aye. Michael? Aye. Zahn? Aye. Rusty? Aye. Uh, Richard? Aye. That, uh, so the warrants are going to I'm be I'm sorry, who seconded I, the warrants? 
Thank you, Zon. Uh, thank you. Communications, do you have any further? Uh, I will speak to the Linda Hecker letter. Do you have any communications, Peter? Um, that none? is all, Richard. Okay. In regard to Linda Hecker's letter, which we put in the folder, um, my feeling, you know, I wanted it, I think that the select board should respond to citizens' uh, questions and, and or complaints or uh, quandaries. And um, uh, I think that we we should write a letter back to Linda saying that thank you for, for your, your letter and your concern. There's nothing that the select board can do, but that we recommend that, I don't know if we want to say this, that we would suggest that she send the letter um, if she wishes that she wants to send to Mr. Bo uh, Belagor um, and, and see what she gets. But I don't see that, that the select board can, can do anything about what the, in the, in regard to the contents of that letter. Do you, you're, Rusty, you're agree agreeing? With you, Richard. Hmm? you agree? I agree with you, Richard. Yeah. yeah they, there's there's also, no action you can. So, I would agree. She, 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 she hasn't okay. broken any laws or any Exactly. Statute, so it's he's he's doing what any legal landowner in Guilford can do. Yep. So um, we will. Um, I will work with Peter to write that le letter and, and thank Linda for her letter and 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 let Linda know that we did discuss it and um, we take her concerns seriously. I think um, I would just say I think we need to be on record that we're not. We don't. We don't necessarily we we're neutral about whether or not she wants to write a letter to Paul Belagor. I'm okay, not well, I, anything. Okay, so I we don't have to say that in the letter then. Yeah. I mean, she's you wish that? Yeah. Okay, that's fine by me. Okay, Peter, you have that and we'll work, we'll get that letter written. I, I do have that. All right. Thanks. Then on to the disability insurance. Oh yes. Uh Penny shared uh brief memo with us that starting July 1st, the disability insurance uh, company for town employees is going to change. And so just letting you folks know about it. Um, and that was all. Okay. Uh, now we're on to actions from the previous meeting. Yes, yeah, so the select board accepted the grant agreement. Um, I was supposed to investigate, uh, I along with Dan was supposed to investigate uh, potential signage options uh, on Sweet Pond Road. Unfortunately, because Dan was away on vacation last week, I was not able to communicate with him. Um, and so that will have to um, be something that is followed up on. Uh, I was supposed to start uh, writing an RFP for garage siting due to two other RFPs that we had out. I was not as well as other tasks. Um, I was not able to get to that just yet. And then I was to share the ARPA information uh, with the select board, which I did. And I believe that uh, along those lines, uh, some final information about ARPA has come out. And I think that Richard, correct me if I'm wrong, but Richard and I are both going to be participating uh, in a webinar next week or the next week on Wednesday of this week about uh, how the town can begin taking action to express interest in that funding. Um, and that was Basically, it from, it's a webinar on how, to, how a town can, can obtain that funding. So it's, yep. it's, a, it's going to be instructional, I think. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Thank you for doing that. Yep. Um, okay, and action taken. Yep. Um, so you approved the Goldstone Architects, you approved the tax exemption, you approved the letter of intent, uh, you approved a contract extension for Wagner Development, uh, you have reopened the town office. Uh, Richard and I are to uh, write a memo uh, to employees uh, relating to the reopening, and then uh, Richard and I are, are to draft a response to uh, Linda has Hecker's uh, letter to the select board. Great. Yes, son. Uh, do we need to have a date by which we're open on which we're opening the office, or will it be open tomorrow? Uh, that's a good question. I think it. That's a good question. I I think that, um, I mean, I'm going to be on vacation for the rest of this week, so it won't have any impact on me. But I, I it, 
Um, I think it would, my in my personal opinion, and you know, I would benefit from this, but at least give the uh, Lisa and me time to a day or two, whatever. Maybe I would su suggest next Monday would be the day to reopen. That way we can get the message out there. It can give uh, Penny and her staff time to get reorganized for whatever she needs to reopen. I mean, she has been having um, appointments on Mondays and Wednesdays. And so if she's rearranged her schedule, it well, would be considered uh, for I those. Why don't I call Penny tomorrow morning um, just to say that this was what the select board uh, approved to the reopening of the office. So she has, uh, you know, she, she, she has some advanced warning about it. Okay. That's, I, I, so I'll call Penny and tell her that tomorrow. But we're we're waiting for the to reopen the official reopening to be on Monday next. Well, I mean, I guess technically you guys should have a motion to to give the date. I mean, you could do an informal straw poll, but I, I think you know having a, a brief motion just saying that would be better. Okay, Zana, are you motioning? I'll amend the, can can we amend the previous mo, uh, move, uh, motion? Yeah, so, so um, you can absolutely amend the previous. So do you want me to have um, Zahn is moving to amend the motion to open the office on Monday? Yes. Thank you. Is it is it fair to say we need a sign on the town office saying to enter, you need a, a mask on? I mean, if you haven't been. If you're on. If, if you haven't been immunized i mean yes yes and is that just going to be a low-tech piece of paper and a marker or do we need to well we'll at least type data. it out on computer and print it out and put yeah. it on there yes okay. miranda well i imagine that since all um all of these uh town offices across the state are going to be reopening that there's probably going to be some kind of official signage or recommendation for signage so that there would be some kind of uh, uniformity in messaging and look, you know, that it would maybe feel more official. I, I think that's might be assuming a little bit much, in my opinion, based on the other uh, Oh, the past year and a half, let's just say, we've gotten very little in the way of that form of signage and communication. Um, so I would not, at this point in time, expect that they would do anything like that. So, well, when I when I when I talk to Penny tomorrow, I will ask her to type 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 up such a notice. Okay. Okay. So we need a second to that. So Zon moved to amend the original motion to open the office one week from today. Miranda Miranda. Seconds. Okay. Any further discussion? Well, I guess, you know, I'm happy to have that be the case. And I hope that we'll continue to have the options to have people work remotely. I mean, okay. I know that that's not part of this, but right. I think the flexibility is important. I agree with you. Um, okay. Let's take the roll, Veranda. Hi. Michael. Hi. Zahn? Aye. Rusty? Aye. Richard? Aye. Okay, actions to be taken, Peter. Um, well, actually, we already covered the actions to be taken. So uh, th that would be uh, Richard and I are to uh, collaborate on writing two memos, one to employees uh, regarding the reopening of the office, and the other is a letter in response to Linda Hecker's letter. Um, and then Richard is going to uh, communicate with Penny tomorrow. Great. And then there's follow up on the siding RFP and the signage on the Sweet Pond Road. Yep, correct. Yep, thank you. I'll make sure that's added as well. Thank you. All right. It's um, uh, maybe it's Richard, time for another ask, motion. Can I ask one quick question? Um, Peter, isn't it true that when the mandated remote meetings have now been dropped by the governor, it means that open meeting laws are back into effect, which means that then the select board can re meet remotely, but you have to have one person in a public location at the time of the meeting. That's so correct. Next, two weeks from now, somebody would have to be in the town office 
at least if, one of you would have to be there. If we, if we meet. I mean, it could be anybody. It, it could include me, but yes, that is correct. Okay. Thank you, Steve. All right. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Zahn, is there a second? Okay. Don't all jump at once. <laughs> uh, who was, <laughs> was that Rusty? I, I'm Zahn? putting in a Rusty okay. whose hand I suffered. Okay. Is there any discussion? All right. I'll take the roll. Veranda? Hi. Michael? Hi. Zahn? Hi. Rusty? Hi. Richard? I, uh, the motion carries, and I thank you very much. It's uh, it's a pleasure to see you all. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Get us the fibers on.